Hi, um, I've been asked to do a review um, about uh, Dragon Dictate 3, which is Nuance's latest voice recognition software for the Mac. Um, this is actually the second uh, attempt at this review. Uh, the first one I did just turned out to be a bit of an arduous video. So what I thought I would do though is I thought I would create this review, at least part of this review, um, as a live demo which I'm uh, recording here as a screen capture of my Mac. So what you're seeing is I'm actually going to dictate the review. I have done a version of this um, in text edit initially for the previous video, so I'm just going to read off that. Um, it's a bit more structured and a bit less painful to, to listen to and watch if you are uh, um, watching this video. But this will give you a pretty good idea of, of, the, of the software and its capabilities and how it works. Um, Dragon Dictate th um, 3 came out about a week or so ago uh, and I've been using it since it came out. I haven't used a previous version of Dragon Dictate for the Mac so this is my first experience with it um, for quite some time. The last time I used this sort of software was several years ago in a Windows environment and there the I remember the technology worked fairly similarly um, and uh, it took a bit of, quite a bit of training or what have you and it worked well enough. Um, I don't remember enough of it to give you a decent comparison between the technology then and now, but I can tell you that just on the whole, the software now is pretty good. So what you can see over here, this little window over here, is a notepad that comes up once you're running Dragon Dictates, and this is the Dragon Dictates um, app over here. And the reason why this comes up is that there are times where it's actually easier just to dictate straight into this notepad. It's a rich text um, notepad um, as opposed to plain text, but it's a very, very simple interface. Um, as you can see here, as you dictate into the software, it transcribes it into the notepad for stuff. So it's a very easy interface here if you want to uh, get started with some text. And what a lot of people do is they'll transcribe into this notepad. You can save the text that you are creating. Um, you'll see the familiar and now familiar drop downs here. By the way, I'm running a, a MacBook Air. It's a 2011 MacBook Air on Mountain Lion. Um, 10.8.2, here are my specifications of the 1.7 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and I haven't encountered any real issues with my MacBook Air while using Dragon Dictate. So, to get started, um, what you need to do is you can, I bought the software directly from Nuance Online. Um, I downloaded the software, it's quite a hefty download of about 1.3 odd gigabytes. Uh, but once it's downloaded and installed, you then go into a process where you first create a profile. So you'll be prompted to create an initial profile. This is my profile. You can see that I have three audio sources over here. When I first started using Dragon Dictate, I didn't actually have a headset. So I trained the software using uh, the microphone built into my MacBook Air, which is not ideal. It's not a good quality microphone. Um, but it worked well enough to be able to train, train the software. The, what I then did is I went out and bought a Logitech H555 headset, um, which is a sort of behind the ear, around the head type headset, which works fairly well. It's about a 600 rand or so purchase, but it's been a, a pretty good buy. It's worthwhile doing a few you know, doing a bit of research for yourself um, on various on microphones and what have you. Uh, Nuance, the company that creates Dragon Dictate, does recommend a few manufacturers and devices. Um, that is by no means uh, the closed list of devices that work with the software. Logitech doesn't really feature on that list, but this headset got a few good reviews and it's been working fairly well for me um, since I got it. In fact, I haven't had any problems with it. An interesting option over here is the Dragon Dictate microphone application, which I have installed on my iPhone 4S. And once you get that set up, and there is a, a, a way to actually do it, um, you need to add the, the, uh, the app as a microphone through this whole process here. You can create an application. You can create a 
excuse me, you can create the profile, you can add a microphone over here, and you can basically choose, you would choose the option. So whatever you want to call it, and then it gives you the option to add the app as a, as a microphone. But anyway, once you have added the microphone, um, the microphone app, and you've got to set up, it actually works fairly quickly. You've got to go through the same kind of training process that you would with a microphone anyway, but once you've done that, it works quite nicely. And it's a very handy um, option if you're out and about and don't have your usual headset with you. Anyway. <coughs> All right, so let's get into the review itself. So. What I have open here is software which I use fairly often for my writing. It's Scrivener. Um, it's a terrific writing app. Um, I usually use this as my initial, as my starting point for all my documents. I do my basic document creation in here and then move into uh, LibreOffice to finalize the text or Word or whatever else it is. Okay, so let's get started. So once you've done all your, once you've installed the software, you need to get started with some voice training. Um, you do a number of you do an initial training text when you first create your profile or add, an, or add a microphone, so the software gets a sense of how your voice works. In fact, I actually cover part of this in the review, so let's get straight into that. Now, once you've installed the software, you'll see something like this on your desktop. I'm still trying to work out how to minimize this a little bit. It's a bit big and it sort of gets in the way, but this is your status bar. You can't actually also hide it. Uh, and in fact, let's do that. So. I'm going to go over here to Tools and see if I can figure out how to do that quickly because it, it does tend to get in the way when you're moving around, especially if you don't have a huge amount of screen real estate. Um, well, there is an option for it, and I'm just blanking on that right now. Anyway, let's get back into this. So, you've got the thing open, so you activate the microphone by clicking on the microphone, the red thing over here, or you click on the microphone icon in your menu bar. And once you've clicked on this, from this point, the software will then pick up what you are saying and transcribe it. Now, as I said, I have given this reviewer one, uh, one you know, an initial try, so the accuracy might be a little better this time around than it was the first time around. Um, and what I'll also do is I'll do a comparison for you of Dragon Dictate 3 and the voice recognition software built into uh, Mountain Lion itself, because that's an obvious... Um, well, possible contender, um, but I found that on the whole it doesn't work as well as Dragon Dictate, but let's get into this one. When you first run Dragon Dictate, you will be prompted to train the software using your voice, full stop. Correct pronto. Prompted. Correct Dragon Dictate. Choose two. Go back. So what you just saw there was one of the ways that you correct uh, inaccuracies in the text. When it comes to Dragon Dictate, um, I prefer that it uses the you know, the actual term that it has in the system for the software itself and not the actual words dragon dictate and with the word prompted I made uh, when I pronounced the word prompted it misunderstood me as pronto um, and it's just a case of going back and getting it to fix it. Now you'll also see that the cursor is a little sluggish when it moves here in um, Scrivener. I find that the the text tends to work a lot faster in a plain text or rich text editor as opposed to a more fully developed word processor like Scrivener or Word or uh, LibreOffice. So, uh, as a comparison, I'll show you the other uh, the text in the other app. So, this is the Notepad app. You may not be able to see it very clearly, but let's give it a go anyway. Um, when you first run Dragon Dictate, you will be prompted to train the software using your voice, full stop. So as you can see, the accuracy is a bit better there, although it may have learned a bit from the previous version of Scrivener, and it's also a lot quicker. 
I think there's just a bit of um, process overhead or memory use or something in these other apps that tends to slow it down a little bit. But let's carry on and squib and see how we go. The initial voice training process involves reading a standard text just so the software can get a sense of how your voice works and what it sounds like when you read certain things, full stop. Now you'll notice that it's added the letter Y here. I'm not quite sure why it does that, but sometimes when you edit something manually or edit it in a way that doesn't run completely through the system, the software starts to add these arbitrary characters at the end. Um, and they don't really do anything except just become a, a bit of an annoyance. So you can go and delete it, and at some point they may or may not go away. I'm still trying to work out why it does that. But let me carry on with this paragraph, possibly get into another one, and then we can do a, a, a demonstration using Mountain Lion. When you dictate using Dragon Dictate, you also need to pronounce the punctuation that you are using so the software knows how to structure your sentences. Full stop. New line. Ideally, you need to speak in a fairly measured voice as the software may not understand what you are saying if you speak normally. Open brackets. Assuming your normal voice is fairly rapid or otherwise not ideal for the software, close brackets, full stop. There are a few options when it comes to training the software, full stop. The first is the voice training which I just mentioned. And there are also a number of texts which you can read in order to better train the software full stop. These texts have varying degrees of difficulty and also help you get used to dictating using the software full stop. Correct fearing. Varying. Correct trainer. Train the. Train the. All right, it wasn't quite getting what I was trying to say there. And it sort of does this sometimes. Um, it doesn't quite understand what you're saying, selects the wrong characters, or just adds something else to what you're, to your sentence. And it can be a little frustrating, but I think this is more a case of training the software a little further um, to the point where it starts performing that much better. Or if you find that there's an issue with existing software, then you know, switch to a different platform or switch to a different application. Um, so, for example, if you know, obviously dictating here in Scrivener, although it's my preferred application when it comes to creating text and my documents, it can be a little slow. So, it might be easier for me just to switch to the um, Notepad app that comes with Dragon Dictate over here and do my dictation in there. So, what I want to do now is I'm going to just do a demo for you. Um, of Dragon Dictate, actually let's do it here in Scrivener, of Dragon Dictate and Mountain Lion. So you've seen the Dragon Dictate option, so I'm going to use Mountain Lion's voice dictation uh, software. Now bear in mind that one of the differences between Dragon Dictate and Mountain Lion software is that Dragon Dictate does a lot of the processing on the on your laptop itself, whereas with Mountain Lion um, as with iOS, it takes your dictation, sends it up into the cloud, does the processing, and gives you back some text. So let's give this a go. I'm going to dictate the, the, the second paragraph here and see how far we go. 
Ideally, you need to speak in a fairly measured voice, as the software may not understand what you are saying if you speak normally, of brackets, assuming your normal voice is fairly rapid or otherwise not ideal for the software, close brackets, full stop. So what's happening here is it's uploaded it, it's actually pretty good. Um, let's do some more. There are a few options when it comes to training the software, full stop. The first is the voice training, which I just mentioned. And there are also a number of texts which you can read in order to better train the software, full stop. These texts have varying degrees of difficulty and also help to get used to dictating using the software, full stop. So that was quite a bit of text. Um, it's not too bad. There's an issue here. There are a few options. One, it comes to training, sort of when it comes to training the software. Um, yeah, it picked up the train the software better and varied with difficulty. So the, the mountain lion software is actually not too bad. Um, I think that one of the limitations of mountain lion is if you're not, you don't have a decent connection, you could have a problem um, getting decent results or at least if the service works at all. So if this is going to become a general production thing, then I would really consider using a, a product like Dragon Dictate, which installs on your machine and you can run it there, as opposed to relying too heavily on a cloud-based solution like Mountain Lion's dictation software, although it does the Dragon Dictate does come at a cost. I think I paid something in the region of 1,700 Rand or so, um, converted from dollars when I bought it. So if you're price sensitive, then that's certainly a, a, a consideration. So I'm going to go off and just finish that uh, review um, myself and upload it a bit later. But I hope that this video gives you a pretty good idea of, of what Dragon Dictate is and how it works.